Hey everyone! Today I want to share with you how I made a DIY easy radiator cover for this eyesore in my bathroom and also show you how to drill into the ground. This is a steam radiator and probably leaked in the past causing rusting on the metal. Very ugly look and this cover is about to fall off. Someone already tried to paint it obviously without a success. The best thing is to replace the radiator but I don't want to go through the trouble. So I'm just going to hide it with a DIY radiator cover it will look much better than this for sure but as you can see it's a very tight space right behind the door therefore I need to keep it as narrow as possible and I will hang it on a ledger and show you how to drill into the grout to hang stuff if you are here to see only that you can skip to that part let's get to making the radiator cover I have these wood planks left over from a past project I like to use them up you might have seen some of my old projects using these in the same bathroom I updated a medicine cabinet using them so they'll be matching but it might be too rustic looking so in that case if I feel like it's too rustic for my liking I'm planning to whitewash them I tested on this piece and I think it looks nice they've got tongue and groove edges and I've got a bunch of cutout pieces here I can create the frame out of them I just need to figure out what the frame will look like and which ones to use and insert this pretty metal sheet into the frame it doesn't 100% conceal the back you could still see it through but I don't want to block the hot air either so I'm okay if I see the back showing through a little this is in brushed nickel and the size is 3 feet by 3 feet it actually matches my faucet that's why I picked this one they also come in black copper even gold after I figured out all my measurements I started with the metal cutting was easy I used my metal snip it's a good idea to use gloves when cutting metal. You can easily cut yourself with sharp edges. This is the piece I'll be using. One side is cut, not good looking and the other side is nice. The nice side will be down and exposed sitting on the groove part of the wood. Cut side will be on top and I'll put a piece of trim over to camouflage it. I attach the metal to the top trim with these pins. Then put the piece of wood over using wood glue and brad nails. For the bottom since it has a nice edge I didn't have to put trim over I just glued it onto the grooved part of the bottom trim. I'm not 100% if wood glue is a good idea to bond metal and wood but I did it anyway. I also put two small nails to the ends where a trim will disguise them. This is a small piece of wood that goes right here on the sides. Again, I glued these ones down too. These are not structural since I'm hanging the cover on a ledger, so I'm not worried about it. For the ledger, I'm going to drill into the grout instead of the tile. Grout is softer and easier than drilling into the tile. I'm hoping to find a wood stud right behind here since this is a corner. This is a masonry bit even though grout is softer still hard enough to ruin my bits so good idea to use a masonry bit if you are drilling into your tile you should definitely put some tape over where you are drilling so you don't damage the tile unfortunately there was no stud behind so i'm going to use a plastic dowel for this side and hopefully there's a stud on the other side Luckily I found my stud on the right side. Once I hit the stud I changed my bit to a wood bit. Once I drilled my holes I marked the screw holes on my ledger and pre-drilled them. I had to do a lot of measurements and configuration at this point to get it fit perfectly as my floor has a tiny slope. I wanted my frame to sit on the ledger and at the same time sit on the floor. Please don't forget to hit the like button for this video and thank you for all your support. Side view of the frame. Let's put it in. Great, it fits perfectly. Let's see if the door opens. Yep, it does. I was gonna put a couple of screws on top but really not necessary. It's pretty stable. The radiator is still visible but the look is much improved. I can even decorate it a bit. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for visiting and I will see you in the next one. Bye!